We are inside a Campanotus nest. All these eggs and larvae and cocoons are the offspring of one queen. But it is the young workers that care for them. The larvae are cleaned often. And they get plenty of food from the workers. Ant larvae are blind and without legs, so the workers move them around the nest. Ants are the only insects that carry their brood. This is so different from the way solitary insects live. Their larvae are mobile and can feed on their own. In beetles, flies, wasps and butterflies, the larvae live differently from the adults. They have separate diets. For example, mosquito larvae swim after algae and bacteria in water puddles, but adults fly to search for blood meals. Caterpillars, the larvae of butterflies, eat leaves non-stop. They need much energy to become flying adults. But caterpillars move slowly and are rich in proteins. That's ideal food for birds. To remain alive, many solitary larvae evolved fall testing chemicals, spines or camouflage. Here you see wasps that lay their eggs in living caterpillars. Such parasite wasps are the distant ancestors of ants. One caterpillar is enough food for larvae to become adults, so they lost their legs during evolution. Once fully grown, the wasp larvae burst out of the caterpillar that they have eaten from the inside. Yes, wasp larvae have no legs, just like the larvae of ants. Now you understand that ant larvae have an easy life compared to caterpillars or other larvae. Inside the nest, they are safe from enemies. Hygiene is excellent. Waste is quickly removed and harmful fungi and bacteria are killed with antibiotics produced by workers. With this full-time care, ant larvae survive much better than the larvae of solitary insects. In hunting species like Arpognathus, workers place bits of prey next to larvae and these feed by themselves. In species like Camponotus, workers regurgitate food from their social stomach. When nests become too small or after an emergency, ant colonies can move readily. The workers carry the eggs, larvae and pupae to the new nest. They follow a chemical trail on the ground. Insect larvae metamorphose into adults during a resting stage called pupa and it is protected by a casing. When ant larvae have finished growing and are ready to become pupae, they spin a cocoon with silk. They need help from the workers who bring soil to make a scaffolding for the silk threads. Metamorphosis is completed in three weeks. Then workers must cut cocoons open so new adults can walk out. Over 60% of ant species have no cocoon. An aberration among wasps. In this monomorium, the pupae are naked, but that's not a problem since the workers protect them 24-7. Scientists think many species evolved naked pupae because silk is a costly protein. But then, why do other ant species keep the cocoons? 